But today I'm gonna to show you how to batch process in Photoshop by creating custom actions and then using droplets. The first time I heard about it, it just like totally blew my mind. Now you may have no idea what droplets are, but they are amazing. Since learning about this, I use it like all the time. Hey, I'm Gia Goodrich and welcome back to my channel. That's all about pulling back the curtain behind professional photography with tutorials, tips, techniques, strategies behind the scenes so that you're able to do everything you wanna do. So today you're going to learn how to make a custom action and then how to use a droplet to create a batch process so that you can just set it up five minutes and have it run in the background. Soup to nuts, it takes about five minutes to set up and you can run anywhere from three photos to thousands of photos through this and it just like runs in your sleep and gives things whatever you need. So for a lot of my images, I do a preliminary color grade. Sometimes I do skin softening. I do things like that. So the images look polished and amazing and sending them out to the client. If you do like working in Lightroom, you can go ahead and batch process there and then use this technique to add on a bit of finesse. So I'm gonna show you how to do this. It's gonna be awesome. This is actually from a recent shoot that I did with super talented amazing award-winning hairstylist and crew. I'm actually gonna do a separate video on that whole thing, but this is just how I got all the photos prepped to send him the proof so he could tell me which final images he wanted. This is what this image looked like straight out of camera. This is just with the settings as they were applied. All the information is there, but it's super, super, super lackluster. Now, I put it through the raw dialog box, which I have a separate video I already made right here to that that you can check out. This is also the same process that you can do in Lightroom to get sort of that base color grading going. Then this is the batch process that I did. And so if you come to bridge, this is what he, you know, these are the images that he was looking through and seeing them and, you know, they look polished, they look sexy. Now, of course, they're not, they don't have the spot treatment, they don't have, you know, all the fabulous things that they're gonna have in the end, but he gets a really, he got a really firm sense of what they're gonna be like. So that's how we got it to here. So from there, what I did is you go to actions, and if actions is invisible, you go to window, actions, that little check mark. Now your actions default will more than likely look like this, which is super ugly. I mean, I have a bazillion, but right, they, they look, <laughs> ugly. You go over here to this menu option, do button mode, and you can see all the fabulousness. Um, and there are some default actions that come with Photoshop. But to make a custom action, what you're going to do is come down to this bottom here where it says new, and you're going to name your action. So uh, let's say tut. And I like to give it a color. You'll notice that a lot of them were color coded. Now it's gonna record whatever moves you make. So for me, let's say for example, I want to give it more contrast. So I'm gonna do Command J. I'm going to do Soft Light. Boom, that's already a big amount of contrast right there. I just dropped the fill a little bit. Let's say then I wanna add a gradient map. And I'm gonna switch this mode to color. And let's do here, let's do here. Um, give a little skin tone, something, something. And so there, so you can see here to here, I actually like the color before we did this more, but I don't know, let's just say for the sake of argument, that's what you want done. Then what you're going to do is export it small as a proof. So I go to file, export, save for web. I always do just the default for my camera settings is, Oh my gosh, the spiral of death. I always hate how computers can ever think as fast as me. I always go to 21% because that is a ratio that's pretty good. Want to make sure the JPEG is fully checked. And I always, you know, I don't always do high quality for proofs a lot of times. I'll get down, yeah, to like 61 or something. Pretty good. You can always check it, you know to see, okay, that's enough for them to get the gist. So then I press save. So demo files, so I'm gonna do exports, or let's do proofs. Boom, and then press save. So if I come back to here, I can see that it saved it. I'm in this circumstance, because it's just a proof, I'm gonna X out of it, not saving it. Now. The action is still recording. So I come back up to window and actions and I can see down here that it's still recording. So now I'm gonna take that off, press stop. 
and that action is there for me. So now the action is set and if I come to button mode, I can see that it's right here. So if I wanted to do this photo now, I could drag it into Photoshop, press OK, open object, because it already has a preliminary color grade on it, and then press Tut, and it's gonna run through all of those action steps. And then if I go to look for it, it's going to be in here. Now, that's great, but that would mean you have to cycle through one at a time. So instead, what we're gonna do is batch processing using a droplet. So I come into File, Automate, Create Droplet. And then I'm gonna choose where to save that droplet. So I usually save it in my export folder, and I, do, I name it like Batch 1. And so I know it's part of my batch process. Now, right here, automatically, it usually defaults with the last action that you did. So I know, I remember I named it Tut, so it's in there, Tut, and stop for errors. The important thing to check, if you're doing raw files, which I hope you are, let's be real, we're, we're way past JPEGs. Right. You want to do suppress file open dialogues because in the step before, like in the video, you would have already done that preliminary color grading. So you don't want it to stop because that means you still have to press there and press the button. So suppress opening dialog boxes, then press OK. Now, if we go back to here, this batch is right here. So all we have to do now is say, okay, well, what images do we want to live there? So let's say we want these three. And this is where you can do up to hundreds, is you just take these three and drag it to your droplet. Boom, and then it has that little vroom, And then you know it's working. And then so if I was looking right here, I can see that it's automatically running through all of that and it goes super fast like that was one right there. Oh, and as an ADHD moment, please take a second and subscribe to my channel. I do new videos every week and I would love to have your support and have your input on what other videos I can make for you. And then it shows up here, boom. Boom, boom, boom. Then I can go through and have almost all of my images like just frrr. You can walk away, you can have dinner, you can hang out, you can do some dancing and have this running in the background. Boom, boom, boom. So if we look at now, we have that one I did. Then these ones that automatically went through, boom. So that's easy, right? I know, it's life changing. And those droplets are amazing because they'll still be there for you. So that's it. I mean, it's super easy, I'm telling you. It's just like amazing for me. Every once in a while for political fundraisers or things like that, I will do events where there are lots of images from a shoot. And in those circumstances, all I have to do is set up a custom action and then batch process it. And you know, 500 images are done half an hour that I was off making lattes. Because I make lattes so often. I was off buying lattes, how about that? Then people get them and they are just like, wow, these look amazing and polished and they think you spent all this time on it and didn't really. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a like or a dislike if it didn't resonate with you. Either way, so let me know in the comments below if there are any questions or anything you still want to know about understanding this process and good luck in using it. It was really amazing and life-changing for me. So, yeah. You're still here, I love you for that. Go ahead and take a look at a super relevant video for you and subscribe.